Hello and welcome, Mark Radham, UK National Sales Manager for NEC. Within this video, we're doing an introduction to the ST500, which is available on the SV9100 and the SL2100. The ST500 is an app that sits on a smartphone and is one of many mobility offerings that NEC can offer your business. Uh, and provide a solution to extension users. Okay, so the ST500, it's a mobile client that works on the, uh, the iPhone or an Android device. Um, the app itself is free to download. However, you do require a license on either the SL2100 or the SV9100. So how does it actually work? Well, let's say this is our office environment here and we've got good Wi-Fi. Um, it can handle voice it can handle handover so what do i mean by that if i've taken a call on my iphone on the st500 of course the call is going over the wi-fi network and as i move over or move through the office the call will need to be automatically moved from the access point it originated on to the nearest access point that i'm walking towards okay so seamless handover most Wi-Fi environments nowadays do have the ability to hand over and do have quality of service and all those good stuff. So it's always best to make sure. Now you can see here, um, on my client it is open. Um, I can obviously make internal calls or external calls or receive calls because obviously we've got some lines here connected on the telephone system, which means that if you've got any call management package, such as My Calls Manager, um, every activity that is made from my client um, is recorded. I know, so you can see the calls that I made and received, uh, the duration, etc. If you're having your calls recorded for legal and training purposes, yet again, even on my ST500 mobile client, that activity can happen. So yet again, for different environments, maybe a doctor who needs to be out and about and he needs the calls recorded, that is a good option to uh, consider. OK, uh, and I'm sure you can think about other vertical markets as well. Now, very much like if you was working on a Wi-Fi with your laptop and you was to come outside of the office, you're going to get disconnected. Correct. Same with your ST500. OK, so what I have to be mindful of is that before I leave the office to make sure I'm not on a call or receiving a call. OK, but. Good thing is, as soon as they come out of the office, I can utilize the 3G, 4G, 5G network. The good thing about the application, you can have multiple um, profiles in effect. So um, I get in the car, I'm going to be using the 5G network. As soon as I get at home, I'm going to use my own Wi-Fi uh, environment within my home. So it, it can automatically change and make sure that I'm always connected to the business. And uh, equally, if I'm using the ST500 at home or in a, in, in, in a hotspot, in a Costa Coffee maybe, um, I'm connected over the internet into the telephone system. And yet again, just reiterating that fact that all the core data, all the calls that are made, if I'm having all the calls recorded, I'm going to get that from wherever I may well be. So what does the application look like so um we're going to show you this live but uh it's good just to focus in in these areas here when you load the app it's going to put all your contacts from your um from your iphone or android device into the contact list um you can see who's calling if you've got images against them of course you can take control of the calls you can answer you can put them on hold you can transfer um ST500 to ST500 users um, can do like a FaceTime exercise. Um, yet again, we need to consider your network and firewall settings. Um, and obviously security is a big thing on any app anyway. So yet again, check that out with the uh, NEC a Reseller app partner uh, and they'll do the due diligence on the network for you. Um, and within the application itself, you get the core history. So it enables us to um, really integrate your smartphone with your contacts and make life easier for the user. So you can hold, you can transfer, you can call, wait and call, park, a whole host of features. You can be a part of a hunt group, a ring group, et cetera, et cetera. And there on the right hand side is some of the technical details of the um, devices uh, and the operating systems that we support. And of course, the uh, SL and the SV9100 
9300, 9500 versions that this application works on. So with that said, let's have a live demonstration. So here we are looking at my iPhone. I expect my iPhone is like most people's with a whole host of apps, some of which we don't use, some of which we use every now and again. But certainly the app of choice here, the ST500 is an app that I use every day of the week and you actually see it's actually located right here. So let's open up the ST500 and you can see virtually instantly it's registered to the telephone system back in the Nottingham office. You'll also notice at this point that the um, the app is connected by using the 4G network. Now you probably recall that I mentioned that you can have multiple profiles um, on your ST500 that will automatically change depending on the environment that you're in. So I have three profiles in effect. When I walk into the office, it will recognize that the uh, NEC Wi-Fi is available and will register me on that, allowing me to make internal calls, external calls, and take internal calls. Um, I'll leave the office. It'll pick up the mobile network, whether it be 3G, 4G, or 5G. I get home. It will pick up my home Wi-Fi automatically, so I don't have to fumble around changing the settings. You set them up once, and you are good to go. Okay, so here we are on the uh, opening um page in effect is the dial pad and i can um dial a number by dialing 200 okay uh, i can hit the green icon and it sets up the call to extension 200 in the bottom right hand side i've got extension 200 using an app called in uc and we're going to look at that a little bit uh, in, in a short while because it offers a whole host of other different features so um just ignore that at this moment in time. So I'm going to put the phone down. Incidentally, if extension 200 would have answered that, of course, I can put them hold and transfer them, etc., etc. More icons become available to me. So from this front page, what else can I see? I can see that I've got a shortcut key. Now, this is uh, an awesome feature because every telephone system has a load of features and facilities that are useful for individuals or teams of people. The ST500 is no different. You can actually see that I've programmed certain features and functionality under my shortcut keys. It could be day and night services, which could be quite dangerous given to everybody, but I could, no matter where I am in the world at any time of day, change the telephone system from a day mode to a night mode, or even one of the other uh, six day and night services our telephone platforms offer. You can see um, I've got a hold key, an unpark key, a do not disturb key. I can even page people. So I can actually hit the page key here. That's our page in access. I go off hook. And now I'm making a page call. And you can see the duration of the call on the right hand side. So this is going through every idle handset in our building. Now, as it's 37 minutes past six in the morning, I don't expect anybody to be in the office. But if they are, they're probably being freaked out right now. So let's put the phone down. OK, and um, because I've done something that I shouldn't do, you're probably going to see a, a management by exception email, which is an alarm from the My Calls manager appear any time now. And that email is going to all the managers to say this has happened. It's not quite right. Can you go and look into it? Let's see if that appears very shortly. So we have the ability. There we go. Just in time. The other icon that we have uh, at the bottom is a video icon. Now, you can have video calls between ST500 users and ST500 users, okay? So um, if you want a FaceTime experience uh, to your colleagues uh, that have an ST500, that's not a problem providing your infrastructure supports it. If you wanted to have a, a FaceTime experience by you using your ST500 and your friends and family using their iPhone, that's not going to work, okay? Video calls to ST500 to ST500 only and providing your infrastructure supports that. Okay, now if I just um, bring your attention to the icons at the bottom, well, there are five of which. Um, we're going to start off with our contacts, which is this icon here, the double edit icon. When you download the app, it'll bring all your contacts at your iPhone 
keep them in your iPhone, of course, um, but will replicate them into the contact field of your ST500. So you can see here, I've got a whole host of telephone numbers. I can use various methods to search. I could use the uh, letters on the side. So you can see that I just pressed A, I'll go D, etc., etc. Or I could use the scroll bar at the top if I was looking for Nadine as an example. Nadine as an example you can see exactly that okay so looking for a number in a contact field is extremely easy now um, what I did is that I created some favorites and these could be you know friends and family that I talk to on a regular basis but probably more importantly it's my colleagues extension numbers or mobile numbers etc so I'll click on my favorites and you can see that I've got a few there okay the telephone numbers have been changed to protect the uh, the individual's privacy so um, don't waste your time in writing them down um, but you can see there uh, I've got extension numbers I've got Andy Smedley's extension number I've got Amy's um, fictitious mobile number so if I wanted to dial Amy I would hit the icon I could then choose to set the call up by pressing that and it'll go off and uh, dial it and equally put the phone down so very very easy to access you may want to design your favorites in a different order it doesn't have to be alphabetical okay if i wanted to move amy to the top i can just by um pressing the sidebar bring amy right up to the top there we go simple as that so we have our main contacts and we have our favorites and yet again you can see that extension 200 is also a favorite if i want to call them i would just hit the icon there and you can see it's setting up the call as it did in the previous example so let's put the phone down and go back to the dial pad now the next area that you uh the icon that you see is um, a timer so this is our call history so uh, we're able to see all the calls that we've uh, missed. We can see all the incoming calls, all the outgoing calls, all the missed calls. So I've got a full history of all my incoming call activity, outgoing call activity, and missed like any other um, device. Our mobile phones do that, of course. So let's go back to the dial pad. Now, the next icon to your right is another application that we can bring into the ST500 to give us a little bit more functionality that could aid other people within the office as well as ourselves, okay? And this is called InUC. So what InUC here is, is an application that gives me the ability to see when people are either on the phone or got a feature and facility set um, so I can actually make a choice. Do I phone them or do I send them a message? If they're on the phone, I'm potentially going to go to their voicemail. So I may want to send them an IM. So just looking down my phone, you can actually see that 228 has got a little uh, red icon here, which is a, a do not disturb. And I scroll down again. I can see that Kieran's on the phone. I can see Mike's on a do not disturb. I can see uh, that the warehouse is on the phone, of course. I've made those extensions busy just for the purpose of this um, video, okay? Within the application as well, it gives me the ability to set up buddy lists and I can go into a search. I can have search by division or status and, and things like that. So if you look here, look, we can actually just see Nigel's at lunch and he's put a note, working lunch. In mine, you can see working in the dem, that could be a dem room or whatever, and we'll look at what the significance of that is just in, in a short while. So having visibility of my colleagues really does empower me um, to, to work smarter. So um, if I was to bring up um, the presence feature now, you can see that there's a green icon here that represents that I'm in the office. But if I click on it, you can see now I can change my presence. So um, if I was to say uh, I'm going um, on vacation, um, I can then change the, the note there. Let's say I'm going to put USA. It's quite topical at the moment. And everybody that has got either this ST500 app uh, on their mobile phone 
or an, S, uh, an NUC application, which I'll bring up shortly, will able will be able to see that I'm on vacation and I've gone to the USA. Okay, so let's bring up that application. So you can see that Mark is on vacation and he's at the USA. So yet again, the presence has actually changed. And if I want to uh, demonstrate to you that, let's change that to I don't know, France. Okay, press done. It will synchronize with the application. It will remain on vacation because that's what I said. I haven't changed at all. You can see now it says France. Okay, so um, I'll change it back to the in office profile. Uh, I'll put there uh, working in the dem room. So at least people will know that I am in the office and they'll know exactly um, where I'm working, okay? Yeah, again, that's <clears throat> ideal. Now, if people um, want to phone me from this, um, this could be quite uh, noisy, so I do apologize if we get any feedback, but um, if we just go um, and click on Mark's icon here, okay, it's gonna call and Hopefully, I can make all this work all at once. Okay, you can see there, I've got a ringing call, and I've answered it. And of course, if extension 200 had a, um, a photo against them, uh, it would appear here. So you can see now, I've got all this level of core control, etc., etc. So let's put the phone down. Now, the other feature of the having the NUC built into um, the ST500 is the ability to have instant messaging between ST500 users uh, that have the NUC and people that may be in the office that with a handset uh, uh, and this application working. So um, I can send an instant message uh, to, to the receptionist by just clicking on this field here where my icon is now. So I just open up that and you can see we've been sending messages all morning. Just to make it easier for me, I'm going to send that message. You can see that uh, the receptionist has received the message. And it, again, she could open it, the message. And you can see it right there. And if I just bring up the uh, ST500 again, so you can see the transparency. So instant messaging could be really, really useful in order you to continue to communicate between members of staff. Okay. Yeah, again, the NUC does a whole host of other things, and there are videos there to explain what the NUC can do. But I'm sure you can see the power of the ST500 allowing you to be fully communicating with your colleagues, your staff, wherever are, wherever you may well be in the world, and giving you a huge amount of functionality along the way. So let's go back and have a summary. So there we go. That's the ST500, one of the several options we can provide you as a business uh, giving you that mobility aspect either for yourself, managers, directors, or even the staff. That is obviously down to you. But what the ST500 is, it's easy to use. You can have multiple profiles, so you don't have to keep manually changing from the office environment to the 5G data network to your home. It will automatically do that for you. We have, as I showed you, we can incorporate it into another application called InUC that allows us a lot more functionality as well. And we can provide shortcuts to some of the features. We can provide um, messaging and presence capabilities when using the InUC either to other ST500 users or people that are using uh, InUC are uh, in-house um, on their telephone system. Okay, as I mentioned, Wi-Fi, 4G, 5G, even 3G, and it's full, of it's full business mobility solution from NEC. So it's not a third party, it's from NEC, which means that it's integrated tightly and works tremendously well. So with that said, if you do have any questions, please reach out to your NEC channel manager, your distribution partner. I'm sure they'll be only too willing to help. My name is Mark Ratherham. Thank you very much for your time. Speak to you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.